Welcome to our first ever Pickleball Trivia Pro-Am. This promises to be a barn burner as two highly successful and experienced pros take on our two most successful quiz contestants. Glenn Peterson, pro player, engineer, and father of the Selkirk Omni Paddle, teams up with none other than Dee Davison, a legend in the game and an encyclopedia of pickleball knowledge. They're going to take on Keith Ramos and Sue Wong, two contestants that effectively dismantled their opponents during the season's pickleball trivia. The questions increase in difficulty and are multiple choice. Each team will alternate questions until one team reaches five points. Up for grabs is $200 in gift vouchers and a signed Maxima. The sentimental value of that is through the roof. So let's get this show on the road. All right. So the first question, Sue and Keith. Uh, so do wait until I finish all the uh, multiple choice options before you blurt out the answer. You might know it immediately, but, you know, there's no stars for being quick to the gun. All right. So ready to roll? Yep. The maximum length of a USAPA pickleball approved paddle is A, 17 inches, or B, 18 inches, C, 16.5 inches, or D, it doesn't matter anymore because you can't touch your paddle. Wow. Hey, Keith, I think I know the answer to this. I'm going to say 17. What do you think? Yep. Okay, that's our final answer, Morgan. They're going with A, 17, and that is correct. Congratulations. All right. I told you it was going to start easy. So, okay. You know, no worries. Okay. Now over to D and Glenn. They're off to a flying start, let's be honest. Mm. Okay. Your question. Enrique Ruiz was recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. His nickname is A, the Raven, B, La Falcon, C, El Condor, or D, the Pink Flamingo. Well, Glenn. I go, I'd have to go with the Condor. What would you say? It's definitely that because we were sitting around a dinner table and gave Enrique that nickname in Bend, Oregon. Really? So it wow. is Condor. Okay. My nickname was Taz. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it rhymed with Spaz, I thought. Uh-huh. That's not right. Tasmanian devil. <laughs> but anyhow, yes, Enrique was given El Condor in Bend, Oregon. With his wow. left and right hand, the span has got to be greater than most it, players, if, if oh, not yeah. any player. Yeah. It was greater than an eagle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Well, we're all learning something today. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know what, that's why they call him El Condor. So <laughs> thank you for sharing that. I, I happen to have his pink paddle, his new signature paddle. I love it. Yeah, so cool. that, that is, of course, correct. Uh, congratulations. You are on the board. Woo. Now we head back. Go, Glenn. <laughs> we yes. head back over to Sue and Keith for their next question. All right. The USAPA has recently gone a name change to USA Pickleball. The URL changed as well. Is it A, USAPB.com, B, USAPickleball.com, or C, USAPickleball.org? It is C, so if you agree. Uh, you sound confident, Keith, so I'm going to go with that. Well, congratulations, Keith. You are exactly right. It is Ooh. C. Good job, Keith. Well done. I'd be, I'd be bad if I, I didn't know that as an ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> All right, good job. So there's the point for them. They are up 2-1, uh, but D and Glenn have a chance to close the gap right here. Are uh, you ready, guys? Yes. Totally confident. Okay. The game was invented on one faithful Saturday afternoon in 1965 by some friends. However, one of the friends that was attributed to the invention of the game wasn't introduced to the game until the following weekend. Was it A, Bill Bell, B, Joel Pritchard, C, Barney McCullum, or D, Errol Flynn? <laughs> So D, I I want to guess that Bill was involved at that first day. So I don't I know. I would whether, think so too. So I don't know whether it was Joel or Barney that got in the following weekend or not. I don't either. I'm. I would take a guess at Joel. So would I. Okay. So you're going with B, Joel. Unfortunately, yep. that is incorrect. It was Barney McCallum. Uh, oh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. Sorry, this, this is a drastic turn of events. I, I did it not is. see this coming. I have to catch my breath here. 
come behind victories. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, you're going to have a chance. There's no doubt about it. All right, Sue and Keith, you've got a chance to extend the lead. Senior men's star Rich Lopez has a nickname. It is A, Lightning, B, Rocky, or C, Thunder. Uh, Keith, I know this one. I'm going to say it's Thunder. Um, I didn't know. Okay. Uh, C, Thunder is our final answer. All right, that is correct. Well done, Thunder Lopez. He's doing good things in the game these days. Well done, Thunder. He is. (laughs) Okay. Back over to D and Glenn. The current board chair for USA Pickleball is A, Justin Maloof, B, Phil Mortison, or C, Jack Thomas. So D, it's not it's not uh, Justin for sure. He's the president, but no, I, so I would have guessed it was Jack got back involved. Jack, but. that's what I would say of the board, right? Yeah, chairman of the board, Instead yeah. Of the board, so I would agree with Jack Thomas. All right. Glenn, is that your final answer? Yeah, I'll go with that too. Unfortunately, it oh, is no. B, <laughs> Phil Mortison. Ah. The, the attorneys always take over. That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. He, he does help with legal matters, and uh, we're going to need that. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, D. Hey, we're showing our knowledge as old-time pickleball <laughs> players. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Jack got back involved. I'm sorry. I thought he did too. No worries. Maybe he's smart and he stayed on the outskirts. (laughs) Okay, so we head back over to Sue and Keith. Uh, They are three one up. This is getting serious. Thanks to Sue. Not far away. Come on, don't don't sell yourself short there. No, Keith, you got the other answer. (laughs) True. Yeah, Yeah, teamwork. teamwork. (laughs) Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's be honest. Okay, moving on. Byron Frezzo is well known to be the second best ref in his marriage. In 2015, he and his wife, Marcia, did team up and win gold in which tournament? A, the State Games of America. B, Huntsman World Senior Games. C, the Nationals. Or D, Saturday afternoon play at Dan Gabanak's backyard. Oh, my goodness. Now, Keith, I, I was I don't think I was there. <laughs> um, I, we I didn't know I didn't know what pickleball was until 2018. Oh gosh. I mean It was very similar, just more dinking. So Keith, I'm gonna <laughs> the man and the choice is it's either between I'm gonna either say it's either like huntsman or nationals. Gosh, what was the first, you said Morgan State Games where? Uh, State Games of America. Oh man, I don't even know that one. So I guess, Keith. Do you want me to try to take a guess? I might. Just, yeah. Oh yes. goodness! It's I'm just. Besides nationals, I'm not familiar. Okay, with that, so. I guess let's go with Huntsman. I know it's either. I'm. Yeah, I'll say Huntsman. Okay. Or, Unfortunately, Huntsman is incorrect. It was A, okay. the State oh, Games okay. of America. Yeah. Ooh, didn't didn't know that. that. Oh. What was that at? Uh, it's a very good question. Yeah, Albuquerque, wasn't it? Albuquerque, exactly. You take a left turn at Albuquerque and you find the state games. <laughs> 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 okay, so now we're back over to Dee and Glenn. They're back in the game with that slight hiccup. Are we ready? The first official tournament was held in 1976, where the now legendary Steve Peronto placed second in men's singles. Who came first? A. Mark Friedenberg. B. David Lester, C, Chris Miller, or D, David Hasselhoff? I would say Mark Friedenberg. Yeah, you said it was 1970. 1976, yeah. it was the first uh, Because uh, first Chris Miller would have only been like, yeah, when like Chris M- Miller was born in 69. Yeah, but he's yeah. talented, you know, as an eight-year-old. I, I yeah. feel like as he had an eight-year-old. It. So it's the Hasselhoff name is familiar to me, but I'm gonna I would guess with you that Friedenberg is the would be the name. I, if he would have said Gabinek, I would have gone with him or, or Billy Jacobson. But yeah, yeah. I don't know if Friedenberg was playing back in 1976. Oh yeah, he, okay, been, okay. So I'd we, almost imagine yeah. Mark was. Yeah, yeah he's probably that. playing back in 1936. All right, so we go with Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Mark Mark, uh, Mark won silver with Moses in the first nationals. So uh, <laughs> we, we won't That's tell so him funny. that. <laughs> All right. So your answer is uh, A. Mark Friedenberg, and that yes. is incorrect. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm sorry. Who is it? it was David Lester. I mean, come I on. I don't even know who that was. Dave. 
you know, from Lesterville. I don't know. I've never met him. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of him. <laughs> no, exactly. I wasn't, bo- I wasn't born that way. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, neither was I, man. Don't worry about that. We were in okay. Pickleball, yeah. <laughs> I was. I was born. I was not in pickleball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're, we're clearly getting out of control, but that's good. That's what we're here for. Let's take a quick break from the Pro-Am for a quick word from our sponsor, Coach Me Pickleball. So, you're engaged in a dinking rally, and it occurs to you that you're getting picked on by your opponents. Maybe your soft game is weaker than your partner's, or perhaps your opponents are just testing to see if you can handle the pressure. For now, we need a strategy to get you off the hot seat. Most players are far more comfortable dinking cross-court than they are down the line, and with good reason. There's a lot more margin for error cross-court. To get yourself out of trouble, it's time to start dinking down the line. Not just once, not just twice. Do it continuously until your opponent either takes the risk of attacking you or redirects to your partner. If they are comfortable dinking down the line with you, then you can instantly make yourself the most dangerous player on the court by straddling the sideline and the kitchen line. Or if you're feeling very ambitious, by attempting the famous Ernie shot. Remember, it's the threat of these things more than anything else that's going to force your opponents to think twice about attacking you, and you'll get off the hot seat. For more lessons on a variety of topics, go to coachmepickleball.com. Okay, let's head back over to the Pro-Am and see if Glenn and Dee can get it together. So we've got uh, a 3-1 lead still, Sue and Keith, congratulations. Uh, Looking to close out, you ready for your next question? Yes. In the recent APP Tour event in Chicago, who won the women's pro doubles? Was it A, Michelle Escovel and Callie Smith, B, Andrea Koop and Irina Tereshenko, or C, Simone Jardim and Jesse Irvine? Oh, man. Uh, man. Keith, did, <laughs> well, were you paying attention? Oh, I know. Simone won in, uh, in Utah. Gosh, because I'm trying to remember the picture that I saw, but now I can't remember who I actually saw on the podium. I'm actually going to say maybe it's um, Michelle and Callie. What do any, you think, uh, Keith? Any thoughts there, Keith? Because uh, I I remember I seeing a podium picture, but so that's, I think, oh, wait, and you said, sorry, Morgan, you said the other team was Andrea and? Uh, Andrea Koop and Irina Tereshenko. Oh, man, it's between, I think, those two. What's your thoughts, Keith? I don't think, I, I don't remember seeing Simone. In a, in a, yeah, that's why I pic- think it's either between pic- Michelle and Callie versus Andrea and Irina, and I just can't remember what that picture looked like, who was on the podium. I'm... Yeah, the shot clock is running, guys. I'll go with, I'll go to, I'll go with Arena if we're... Okay, because, uh, uh, yeah, Keith, since I don't know, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so you're going with B, Andrea Koop and Irina Tereshenko? Uh, are we sure, Keith? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll let Keith choose this time. All right. Well, you 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 chose right. Congratulations! It Ooh, was good oh, job, Keith. Let's be nice job. That's blind luck. I'm thinking, yeah, Simone didn't play in the. Did she she did. Yeah, she did. She her did. And, uh, That's why. Okay. Yeah. Her and Jesse got bronze, I believe. Okay. Way to go, partner. I, 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 I was in a tournament in Woburn, New Hampshire, so I didn't watch any of the games. Oh, I see. All right, now heading over to Dee and Glenn. They've got a little bit of work to do, let's be honest. Uh, Yeah, we'll say that. (laughs) We do. uh, We'll say that easily. Next question for you guys. Longtime Paddletech user and Hall of Fame player Jen LaCour recently switched to another paddle sponsor. Is it A, Head, B, Engage, or C, Gamma? And there was deathly silence. Dee, do you know which one? I don't. I remember that she switched over. Did she I switch? I almost want to Gamma is what I'm thinking. But okay. I am I, like I, not I, very sure. I knew, but I've forgotten. I, I, let's, but I, let's, uh, yeah. Do you think, did she join the Engage teaching team with Gigi? Yes, she might have. It might be Engage, but I, I, don't, I don't know. For I'm, I'm thinking she might have enjoyed or joined the engaged teaching team because mm-hmm. Gamma's teaching team, who's on it? Yeah, I'd say we go with engaged then. Okay, okay, so 
Is your final answer engage? I'm good with that, D. Um, let's go engage. Well, congratulations. Hey, Ooh, hey, we got it? one. Yeah. Nice going, D. I kept thinking, why didn't we get that question? <laughs> <laughs> I know how many times did I know your guys' question. I'm like, really? Uh, all right. I didn't we know should, all of their questions. <laughs> there should be a pass button. Like you can pass it to the other team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how about a, I think I like a steal button. Oh yeah. yeah! There you go. Ooh. There you yeah. go. All right, all right. You know we can't afford <laughs> buttons. Let's let's not go crazy. Yeah, the Selkirk guys might listen to this, and then they'll think we're demanding <laughs> buttons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we've got four points to two. Sue and Keith, the, you have a chance to win here. Let's go, uh, Keith. Let's do it, Sue. All right, here we go. Ready? The Dura Forty has forty holes in it. Obviously, that's that's. Pretty obvious. However, they are not all the same size. How many large holes does it have? A, 16, B, 20, or C, 24? Uh, Keith, do you know that? I know there are different sizes. I didn't realize there was a difference in the name. Wow. Uh, um, well, okay. Maybe we'll have to do some deduction here. If it's a Dura 40, would they split it in half and do 21 size? and? <laughs> Uh, okay. What was it? What, what were the the options again? A sixteen, B twenty, or C twenty four. Can you repeat the question? So, I just so there it. are two two different uh, diameter holes. One is larger than the other. Yep. There yep. are big holes and small yep. holes. How many big ones are there? How many of the larger variety? I think point three three of an inch is the. Okay. I, so I will say I will say the lesser number. You mean so. you're saying sixteen? Okay, yeah. I you know I I honestly don't know. So you were good last time. I'll, I'll go with you. I, and I'm just thinking because the, the, most of the I would think most of the holes are the smaller ones. The, if I remember, but I don't, yeah, I, I don't. I guess I never paid attention to <laughs> the fact that they're a, a set number. I know. I didn't know either. I'm just curious, Glenn. You've been around these a lot. Do you know the answer? You know, I owned that brand for a while, and I, I would, uh, no, I don't know the answer. I don't. I would guess, I, get, I have a pretty good guess what the answer is. But I, well, I think you know, uh, um, I think you know that Keith is spot on. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, that's what wow, I yeah. Keith, oh. way to go. Whew. Well done. More yeah, but you know, you pulled through the team. You, you, you yeah. really came to play at the end there, Keith. You and Sue, what a team. Very good. <laughs> I hate to say, but I play with Franco because I can't afford. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that, that hurts, think... Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just I don't get free balls. Or, <laughs> okay, so that is game set and match. Uh, unfortunately, D and Glenn, you've come away with two points. That's better than zero points and one point. So that's wow. a win. However, I think let's be honest. This has surprised, uh, shocked the world. I'd say, it's putting it putting it lightly. But hats off to Sue and Keith. They came to play. They may have even studied. I don't know. I, I, I was impressed. <laughs> well, I was impressed, but I will say it was a pleasure to be in a mixed event with Glenn. Yeah. It's an honor. Yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting for my mixed debut with Glenn, and I don't know <laughs> if it's ever going to happen, to be honest. He keeps... <laughs> well, uh, Sue, I guess we'll have to hopefully we'll meet in the courts yeah. of the wall. You two, the... Uh, <laughs> and Morgan, yeah. I, I love to meet you all. Oh, we could have a reunion, a pa yeah. Palm, Desert, Palm Desert reunion. This is closest. But, um, <laughs> Dee, I will see you in Las Vegas next week. Um, Glenn, are you going to be there? I will, Sue, so I look forward to seeing you there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, good, great. Three. You guys come to Maine? <laughs> <laughs> Maine, it's just around the corner. Yeah, I'm just around the corner in Maine in your ways to somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the way to Albuquerque, right? We'll keep um, that in mind, Keith. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys and girls, thank you so much for your time. Uh, much appreciated. Maybe we'll do it again one day. I'll let the Selkirk brothers decide if uh, these are the two pros that should go forward after this um, somewhat of a <laughs> shocking difference. <laughs> <No. laughs> the hampers are a contract, is that what you're saying? Uh, I mean, I, I wasn't allowed to tell you before, but yes. It's, uh, uh, I'll put in a all. good word for you, Glenn and D. Uh, I'm all <laughs> through, guys. Mm. We were good sports. You yeah. We were very good sports. Entertaining. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The best. Yeah. That's half the battle. And that's usually what gets the job done in Jeopardy as well. Just being a good sport. There's lots of points in that. Yeah. Or not. All right, guys. Well, take care of everybody. Stay safe. Be good to your parents. Put on sun cream. 
Still like it still. <laughs> Thank That's you, so Morgan. This was fun. Thank you, Morgan. Morgan. Thank you guys. You're welcome. I had the easy part. Take care, guys. This podcast is powered by Selkirk. That's it for today. I'm Morgan Evans, and this has been More or Less Pickleball. It's very good, but unfortunately I've lost too many paddles to to pizza ovens, and I've been told that I should stop doing that.